ecstatic atmosphere right here at the St. Mary's Stadium in Chitende, which is the venue for tonight's encounter. As the defending champions, Vipers Sports Club look to rouse themselves into some form of action that they haven't yet managed yet. And up next for them is a team that has made it a habit to incarcerate anybody that dares set pitch, that dares set foot on pitch with them prior to the weekend. My name is Jermaine Agessa, John Vianney and Simbe is here with me and John Vianney, what a setup for such a game, especially with Vipers now, a bit clear on what their schedule looks like. Yo, definitely, they only return to the continent early next year, so they have all the time to focus on defending their title. This is the first game, incidentally, since they played the team from scale up to become the juggernaut that they were last season dismissing everybody with impunity they did last season this season it's been a little different and now they have to get themselves back on forefront that's true and of course after what bright stars did to them yeah it lost a midweek uh to wakiso chance they're really struggling a lot there well on the attack here comes maroon's football club unleashing a shot on the goalkeeper fumbles that one the tap back is off the mark but my oh my, it looked like a routine save for Alfred Machumu. For some reason there, it totally had him flustered. A goalkeeper who had a brilliant pre-season here and has totally kept everybody on their toes. No wonder he's picking up awards, but right there in front of his fans, almost fumbling that one. Maroons already showing intent. Well, I think that uh, Alfred Mudekereza Muchumu has uh, just been saved his blushes uh, by uh, Boris Fowling because, in a way, he was in an uncomfortable ground. His development was here in Kitende, so he just returned, just like a Siraj Centre also momentarily went to URA. Just here, yeah, straight shot here. Just cannot put it on target. The question tonight will be, is it the slippery surface? Is the ball not articulate enough or have the goal post shrunk? Another opportunity here, one-on-one -on -one and blazed on any other day. That probably was supposed to be to the back of the net. The captain, Milton Carissa, doing all the donkey work. The goalkeeper's fumbling. How many times have we seen the hitman? Exactly what happened in their game against uh, KCCA. Holding on to the ball now, manages to elude his marker. Skillful work here for the ball. No one was there. Just as a high, he may decide to pass it in. Decides to bend it. Goalkeeper passes. Milton Carissa strikes and draws first blood. The first goal that the defending champions do register in the start times. You got a Premier League 2022 2023. Falls to the captain. Milton Carissa. And the relief is evident on the face of Roberto Oliveira. For the fans, we finally have something to cheer. Well, um, I guess um, the execution there by Milton Kalisa was uh, brilliant, but it was quite easy. If you look at uh, where the ball landed for him, nobody pressing the ball, and all he just needed to do was to guide the ball over the wall there and uh, into the back of the net. I thought that was very, very clumsy defending from Maroons. And I guess that is testament of um, how poor they've been so far in terms of their confidence. I just might disagree slightly, John Piani Simbe. Maybe the execution he made made it look easy. But in the back of his mind, he had to know that the technique had to be each part of the team. Once again, Abdul Karim Otambala brought to the ground. And the referee says, carry on. And a through pass coming up. And that's an offside. Still managed to get his hands on that, but that's an offside. There was a crunching challenge in there. I wouldn't be surprised if the referee decides to book the player that actually offended. The offside, yes, on. Might want to bring it back for that particular foul. Yeah, it seemed like uh, it was an off the ball incident there, and a foul committed on um, Milton Kalisa there. Oh, actually, he's just, he just um, crashed into the opponent. I just don't think that there was anything much that the opponent could do there. Oh, actually, yeah, one. we'll probably see him. Long ball played through, trying to control the ball into the box area. This could be reason for contention here. Still trying. He's lucky and finally sets up the ball, but again, miscued short. Just can't hit the target. This team would not be able to hit a band off from three paces away with a machine gun on fully automatic. Well, that was good play. If you see the persistence from Noel Nasasira in trying to ensure that he keeps that ball, you can see he was put under pressure by. Um, the Vipers defender Hilary Mukundari and he still got the ball and then he set it up for Amaku and Amaku, Amaku that was the uh, organization. For the moment. <laughs> yeah, exactly, because normally you'd find that they would be shot from distance there and uh, tipped over by Alfred. Again, looked like a routine shot by Isaac Paji. Uh, looked like 
it really required some energy there from Alfred Machuno to, to actually push it above the bar. Yeah, of course, that was uh, something that you feel that you probably saw that board. Oh, pass up front here now, landing at Milton Kanisa tries to set it up for Alfred. Oh, it's Komo Rotomio, a bang. Oh my. He should have done better to try and stand his ground, not to take that first time. His angling was poor, his body was in a wretched position. Yeah. His sight was obscured. It, was hard. it would take a miracle for him to put them through back on the net. Yeah, absolutely. You just don't think that the ball was already coming in behind him, so he didn't have um, the right positioning to oh, really. game it is. No team able to string them together, but that could change here as Yono Sentamo decides to unleash a hard one. Straight to the hand. That could, should be an opportunity. We're going to the far post. Simon Tabale just close it out of the air. And that will count for a corner kick in favor of the Venice. We had so many corner kicks in this game, by the way. It could be just one of a few that we've seen in this game. Probably like four. The weather is also not approaching, but he looks drenched. <laughs> had the run. And a chance coming up here. And a free shot. But once again, Simon Tamale denies. The flag stays down, Zaka puts it in, and it's lifted over and above the perimeter. But my oh my, do the lasers of the hitman need to be clean? From a Rothamua bang, missing at a point blank range, and the flag stayed down. For a moment, everybody there thought he was offside. He had his chance, and he played it right at Simon Tamale. The second shot, Milton Kanisa broke there, and when Zaga had it lined up, Timely intervention there allows it to go Dangerous. out zone. But the ball is picked up here now. Chance coming up. Hard shot. The referee says no handball. And now a hop in distance. Big blunder shot. And they try to get the ball in. And the goalkeeper this time picks it up. Again, Maroons Football Club looking to try and set themselves into a comfortable area. But all that stemmed from. I don't know if I should call it a bit of a malevolent clearance there from Ashraf Mandela opting to clear it against his opponent and the ball ricocheted into a dangerous place. He needs a little more awareness. Rushid Juko still looks out to induct as many foreign players. Ball brought in, looking for a flick on and that's an acrobatic one! Spectacular! Right out of the top draw! Big man! Big goals! Big occasions! Once again, the hitman strikes. One shot, one kill. And what a beauty that he puts into the back of the net. Yunus Junior Sentamu drawing applause even in the VIP box there. Oh, what a goal. Reserving that minute for a beauty. Brilliant flick on. That's a gentleman for the highlight reel. Yeah, definitely. And I guess that tells you a lot about the quality that he possesses. He's uh, not had the best of games, but because we all know that um, form is temporary and class is permanent, and I think that uh, no doubt that uh, that was a quality goal, but wasn't he ahead when that ball was played in? I don't know if you saw the previous replay. He seemed to have been ahead on that replay. Maybe we shall um, get sure something you need after we've um, read the angles there, but that was a brilliant... Ball here to Milton Carissa. Carissa setting it up here for center. Oh! Fires it in! The flag stays down! In a minute, Yunus Junior Sentamu is going on a shooting spree and sends the ruptures of the fans into the air. Viper Sports Club have battered the walls. Viper Sports Club have rammed down the dams. Ladies and gentlemen, open the floodgates. It's about to rain. Well, just a two goals in just one minute. It just tells you how at this time uh, side is at sixes and sevens clearly. That was uh, very poor defending. And uh, from the time that he considered the second one, we'd have expected them to really get their wits up and they just didn't do that. Good play they are coming in now from uh, the captain Milton Carissa to set up Unis Sentamu who made no mistake. I thought the finishing was definitely sublime. In little under a minute, actually we could even say little under 30 seconds, the hitman strikes twice. Edward Cabona holding their line. Now drifting in, sending the ball out here. Looking for a cross, Maroons Football Club and poor communication. My oh my, Alfred De Kereza tonight has been a bag of nerves. Real shaky, totally fragmented, incoherent with his decisions there. 
might need to be taken out of his misery by the referee's whistle. No, but the thing is that <laughs> yeah, otherwise he's bow he's a ticking bomb liable to explode. Well, it's good that you noticed that because I feel that uh, with a team that has um, more uh, forward play and uh, strikers with uh, more conviction, I'm sure that uh, Alfred Mudekeriza would struggle to keep them out. Boy, have we seen any impact coming in from Solomon Walusimbi or later on? Well, he chips the ball forward and he gets the return pass and now gets it back to Yulu Center, who's looking for a hat trick. But he's denied this time round by Simon Tamale. Time. Gassi, Kipo Mbaka, was a bit unhappy, thought the ball was coming his way, probably should have come his way. Milton Kalisa only had eyes for his own opportunity. Yeah, you can see he was trying to squeeze that ball. Zaga to reach his potential and I think um, I think it's a long time of waiting. Um, play the ball in behind and uh, created a little bit. throw in will not be taken as the referee Del Gracious brings this one to a close. It's been a masterful display by Milton Kanisa, who takes a moment to acknowledge the high authorities that have enabled him to have such a game. He opened up the scoring in the first half, taking in the first goal before setting the stage alight for the hitman. Yunus Junior Sentamu with the true meaning of a quick double fire. A brace in barely a minute. And at that point, Maroons were reeling, Maroons were stunned. Maroon were dazed because they had absolutely no idea what had just hit them. Roberto Oliveira gets a moment's breath there and a chance to reflect as now his team have gotten their first three points and their first three goals of the season. He hopes they can kick it on. Full time at the St. Mary's Stadium in Chitende. Vipers Sports Club 3, Maroons Football Club nil.